All right, guys. So this is going to be a review of the Elgin Pelican Street Sweeper by Road Champs. And I think this is a 164 scale. Um, it looks a little bit bigger than 164 scale, but a little bit smaller than 150th. So I'm not really sure the scale on it. Um, doesn't really say on the, the bottom or anything like that. So this street sweeper, this is um, kind of interesting. If you guys watched my last video, I picked this up at a uh, store. Actually, I think it's like the, the, the box here. Yeah, so I picked this up at a local um, local uh, store that I went to. Here's the, the packaging here. Local hobby store. Still early in the morning uh, for me. Anyway, I think it had been open because it had been stapled back together at one point. Um, but in this, the lineup that this came in, you can get a Winnebago motorhome, a International, looks like a 4800 soda truck, International 4800 rollback carrier, a garbage truck, a Zamboni, a International 4800 school bus, and then a street sweeper. So, anyway... Let's get on to the review. So I, I guess this is like a 164th scale, 150th scale. Um, this is not really a rare model, um, but I definitely haven't seen this model in the store. I know that in the 80s there used to be one made by Conrad, which I'd watched a video on it this morning, and turns out that the one made by Conrad was um, a promotional thing for Elgin back in the 80s to promote this sweeper. So this sweeper is not what you would call a truck mounted sweeper. This is more of like an independent sweeper. Um, I grew up kind of seeing uh, these or the town I lived in had one. These was made by Athey, but it was basically the Elgin Pelican style. Um, a couple other trucks that you can or sweepers that they have is I have um, this one made by Skew, I think it's called S K, uh, S I K U. This is a. I've had this for a long time. It's a truck mounted sweeper. This is a um, <clears throat> German truck mounted sweeper Mercedes. If you guys want to see a review on this? I can do that as well. This is a truck mounted sweeper, as well as um, the new Real Working Rigs International sweeper as well. <clears throat> now. Matchbox also made one of these, which I actually happen to have here. Oh, let me get the dust off of it first. Here. And this one is just marketed as the street cleaner. But as you can see in, you know, Elgin fashion, other than like little things here and here, they basically are the same street sweeper. <clears throat> so if you guys want to see a review on this Matchbox one, I can do a review on this one too. Um... It's real simple, but maybe we'll do both of them together if I have some time at the end of this video. So, one thing that makes this street sweeper unique from any other is its uh, design So, and the way it works. So, with this street sweeper, it's a mechanical sweeper, which means it does not have a vacuum or a suction. Basically, your gutter brushes, which are these ones, which these ones do swing out and they go out as far as here, and they do rotate. What they do is they grab the debris from the gutter and the side of the machine and pushes it in the middle where your main broom here grabs it and sweeps it up into a conveyor belt, which then brings it up into the hopper. So come to, we'll take a look at this here. This, so this is the old school Elgin from the 80s. So it's the cream colored with the yellow, red, and black stripes. You have your Elgin logo right there, and it says Pelican. That's what the brand of vehicle this is. But they have these little bubble windows here, which were meant for when you're looking to see what the gutter brush is doing. Instead of hitting your head against the window, you can actually stick your head in there and look and see what's going on um, underneath the sweeper. Instead of having to have the window down, especially if it's a rainy day or it's, the conditions are real dusty with the sweeper. So I'll move to the front here. You have your mirrors. So you can also see what's kind of going on behind it. Next to it, uh, you have your beacon light on top and an air conditioning unit. 
coming over to this side, you have your other gutter brush. This one also swings out and does turn. Now this vehicle is mostly metal with some plastic components, but most of the body is metal. The sweeper stuff is plastic. Went to the rear, you have Elgin again. Your motor is back here. Um, typical motor for this is a four-cylinder diesel, um, like a four-cylinder Cummins um, or anything like that. You have your rear, what's called a, um, or your rear wheels. On this model, they do not turn, but on the actual model, these would turn, like the whole thing would turn left and right. Um, on old tractors, farm tractors, they have this style front end. It'd be called a tricycle front end because it looks like a tricycle kind of. Um, on the interior of the machine, let's see if we can kind of get a better look in, in the interior here. You have, uh, here let me raise you guys up a little bit. Okay. So in the interior of the machine you have what looks like seats, controls, you have a steering wheel in there. Um, controls for your broom speed, controls for um, moving the gutter brushes in and out, and then controls for the hopper. Now that's one of the coolest things about this model is the hopper actually opens. So it opens just like this, and it comes all the way back. Not that you would need it to go back that far, but when you have your hopper open on the real on a real vehicle this flat section here is actually a tailgate so you would come up like this to a dump truck and you come forward and open it and then this would open up into the bed of the dump truck and then when you were done you'd back away swing this back in and then you're ready to go work again now with that being said with how kind of awesome this model is and you get this back into place again like I said, I do have a Hot Wheels one, and we'll kind of, or a Matchbox one. We'll kind of compare and contrast with it. So here's the Matchbox Elgin. Of course, they don't call it that, but obviously you can tell it's the same thing. And your gutter brooms do move in and out. You also have your rear hopper broom. None of these actually spin, but the hopper as well on this one does come up and forward um, as well, like that, just like the the real models you can see in the back there. <clears throat> so I thought that that was um, pretty awesome with the between the two models as well. Is they really, really used the same model stuff with this as they did in the big one. I mean, you can see like, even the lights are in the same spot. In the top there, you have your AC compartment, or AC machine. There's slight detail differences, but it's safe to say that this was modeled off off an Elgin Pelican as well. You have cab lights on the top of this one where this one does not. Um, yeah, just stuff like that. So, All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, uh, soon I'll be able to get some of these pictures of this thing outside. Um, I don't really have... I don't have 164th scale dump truck. So, I may have to get one now uh, for this. I probably actually do have a, I have this one, but this isn't really, yeah, this isn't really 164. Well, it is kind of, but I may have to get my hands on a, uh, on a uh, green light 164 scale dump truck now. 150 scale dump truck, which is, this one, which you guys may or may not have seen, um, actually this might, let me just show you guys this real quick. This might actually be big enough. Yeah, see, so this would come like this, and then it would come forward and dump. I guess, yeah, I guess this is one between 168th and 150, 164th and 150th scale. Um, if you guys want to see a review on this big boy with the plow on it I can do a review for you too um, just comment below and I can do a review of this truck I actually I may have had one already if not I can do another review um, so all right guys well thank you for watching my video if you guys 
uh, are new here, don't forget to like this video. I do mostly if this video has drawn you because you saw this on a search or on a suggested because of the name of the video. I do mostly uh, fire department stuff. I do custom fire stuff. So if it's something that interests you guys, go ahead and check out uh, my channel as well as go ahead and check out my Instagram at Greenlight Fire Station 7 as well as give me a follow at on Instagram at Greenlight Fire Station 7 and subscribe to here as well. So, all right, guys, thank you so much and have a good one.